I have these tracksuit trousers, they are quite big on me, I don't know how long I've had them for and I don't really use them, I'm not a tracksuit person, I'm more of a legging girl but uh, I think I've been seeing this sort of skirt with this material very casual, very sporty and I think it's going to be really fun to do it Here's the core, so I guess it was here to put it back in because I have the safety pins here but let's change it anyways when you see a tutorial on how to transform a pair of trousers into a skirt you normally see how they rip the front seam and in between the legs of course and then uh, sew it back together and you can see this little bit of the crotch from the trousers remaining I've done that, I did it ages ago when I started sewing from jeans to a summer skirt but I'm not going to do that I want the panel to be, the front seam to be straight down so what I'm going to do is just I'm going to cut because I'll be cutting anyway so I'm not going to bother ripping any seam uh, so this peak is going away and then the same with the back panels because I want to take it in anyways at least five centimeters I guess so I'll be opening all the way to the waistline to the waistband it hasn't got an I don't know if it's got yeah maybe it has an elastic band we'll see but I'll be cutting it anyways before cutting anything I'm going to start by measuring how long I wanted it to be and one problem is that when you measure yourself you try to look and you uh, adopt weird positions with your body so one way to know the length is to put your measuring tape upside down that way the zero is where you want it to reach and on top on your waistline or on your hip wherever you have the measurement you need in my case it's going to be 60 centimeters With everything open what I'm going to do is to start by sewing the front and I'm going to just trace a straight line from the waistband down to what's left of the legs of the trousers and all this I'm going to cut so I can sew right sides together and then I'm going to top stitch Top stitching is a great way to make your seams settle and you can do it different ways you do it on the front of your fabric and you can do it folding the, the seam on one side or opening it and making two of them I'm going to do the first one I'm going to just fold to one side and stitch on top
One thing I wasn't counting on is the pockets. Of course, I know it has pockets and they are really useful. I'm not going to take them off, but it's true that sometimes pockets, uh, well, they move all the time and uh, with this movement they make your trousers saggy and you look not as, as smart. So what I'm going to do is to fix them to the front of the skirt. I'm going to stitch all on top of it and before that I'm going to pin it really well so they don't move and it looks the same on both sides. So I'm going to pin it close first so then I can pin the inside and I'm going to stitch all around the seam it already has so I can follow the same pattern and they look as uh, the same uh, to each other as possible. With the front done, it looks really good with the pockets all uh, in place. I'm going to start with the back. The back uh, I need to take off to cut 7 centimeters on each side. And one thing is that it has a waistband with an elastic band inside. The problem is that I could just simply sew right sides together and all along down the skirt but it won't look nice on the inside. It's much better if I open this waistband and sew inside first. So I'm going to do that so it looks nicer. And all of this, of course, I'm going to mark and pin just before sewing. This is looking good, so I'm going to finish the elastic band, which had three seams. I'm going to follow them again so it looks uh, the same. And then top stitch all along my new seam, uh, cutting all the excess material I don't need. And now the hem. For the hem, I'm just a bit tempted uh, to leave it as it is because I think it looks quite cool. I know it's not going to fray, but maybe with time it doesn't look as nice. So I'm going to just do a simple hem and finish it. Oh, and we need the cord. The cord, oh, the problem for the cord is that I saw this. So the cord is just going to be an ornament on the front. Uh, it's not a problem because this is quite fitted. It doesn't, um, I haven't got any risk of uh, losing it. So it's just going to be an ornament.
I love it, look at this, I really like it. I think it was a really good idea to fix the pockets to the front and I'm still thinking that a raw edge on the bottom will have looked nice as well, really modern. But in general, I'm in love with it. It's true that the back pocket, it's a bit uh, in the middle, like it moved to the middle, but I don't really mind. And the rest of it is quite comfy, of course, it's a sweatshirt material, tracksuit material. So I'll be wearing it loads. <laughs> so if you're new around here and you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. And I leave you a link here to other upcycling projects like a handbag I made two or three years ago. Oh, my madre, three years ago, gosh. Uh, a skirt and for example a pair of jeans that I transform from a wide leg to legging and what else and of course the dress I've been wearing the whole video so I'll see you around bye